So here we have the uh, charging cord. And here's the actual controller. Let's take a closer look. This controller is compatible with PS, Remote Play, Xbox, Game Pass, Ultimate, Stream, Link, GeForce Now, Apple Arcade, and M M5 games, and hundreds of popular mobile games, including Fortnite, Minecraft, etc. This is very easy to set up. All you need to do is hold the power button for three seconds, and you can connect your iPhone via Bluetooth. Okay, I held the power button down for three seconds. You can see it is powered on and the lights are charging. This has an ultra long battery life, built in rechargeable battery, which allow games to play for about 25 hours under normal using it. Quickly recharges in just under two hours. With the included Type-C charging cable, this shuts off on its own when you leave it over 15 minutes on for a while to save power. This is case friendly. The left side of the controller has sunken end design to reserve more space for your camera and phone case. You don't have to move your phone case every time. The top button, the top and bottom is sturdy rubber so it doesn't slide around. Configurable four buttons on the back, M4 buttons, a sign for complex in-game micros mapping and simple intuitive enjoy the full layout and feel comfortable of the console controller. Here's your charging cord and where you want to plug this in at is right here on the left side of the bottom of the controller and then you plug this in to any charging standard USB block. Okay I have my controller powered on I'm going to, I'm in my Bluetooth settings. I want to find the Bluetooth link for this controller. There it is. You can see it vibrated and lit up. It connected. So let's go ahead and uh, play a game on here. Open up Sonic Racing. This is a great controller for your kids just to hook up to your phone or your phone if you're a gamer. And look how large this is. I can just slide that open and place it in and it stays in without falling out. As you can see, it's very responsive to hitting the directional pad. And then using my Y button, I can hit some of the racing features. There we go again. This is again, very responsive to my thumb controlling this D-pad. This controller is awesome. I just can't wait to use this all the time when I want to play my favorite games. Well, that was really great playing a game, uh, not using a motion sensor and just being able to use a real controller. Uh, when you're done with this, just hold down the power button and then it blinks and vibrates and powers off, ready to go for the next time.